Yeah, I think um, the big thing for me is, um, you know, I've self-reflected on it, but, um, you know, I'm just grateful for um, Freddie and the staff for picking me. Uh, I feel like it's done a lot, a lot for my footy um, on and off the field. Um, it was great to be in camp amongst the boys and um, around ex-Blues players. And, um, you know, I feel like I've come back to Clubland a better player. What's the um, what's the conversation been like around um, the Bulldogs? I mean, there was quite a number of you in in the side. Um, you know, Maddie Burton obviously wanting to get a crack. Um, Fox wanting a second second chance. Yeah, I'm um, I'm just a big believer on um, you know being in the present, um, controlling what I can, and uh, I just really want to do put my best foot forward for the club. Um, like I said, uh, the experience that. Um, at the Blues was, um, you know, despite the result, I feel like I've come back to Clubland a better player, a better person, and um, yeah, ready to get on and um, try to get the two po two points against Parramatta. It's um, it's always been a you know a bit of rivalry between you two, um, the Dogs and Parramatta. Dylan Brown's a massive out. You guys um can be obviously expecting to see maybe Guffo in the halves. Um, you've got Alzi possibly coming in. What have you planned for? Uh, we haven't had uh, that much of a look at him. Uh, you know, we'll always prepare um, as hard as we can. Um, you know, there's always two points up for grabs, so we're going to do our best to uh, get the two points. And uh, whether he's there or not, um, yeah, it's it's out of our control, and we can only control our preparation. And hopefully, that leads into a good performance. Um, big one for Reid Marnie up against his uh, former club. He'd want to have a little bit, you know, a bit of an ego, a bit of a, a point to prove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, f I feel like you always get up. It's easy to get up when you're versing your uh, former club, and um, Reid's no different. He's a competitor, and uh, yeah, we all, we all have his back, and um, yeah, we're happy to have Reid, and um, yeah, he's not playing on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, also, just, just going back to, to Origin, um, uh, do, do you think that, I mean, there was a lot of pressure put on the likes of yourselves, uh, yourself and um, Hudson Young, in, you know, being that enforcer and getting on there and being aggressive straight up. Do you think you guys maybe got carried a little bit away with the expectation of that and just didn't play your own your own game? Um, yeah, I think, you know, in, in today's age, you know, you can't throw any punches, you know, you're going to leave um, your team, um, you know, a man down, um, you know, if, I think Freddie just brought me in there to run hard and tackle hard and I feel like that's what I brought back to the dogs and um, like I said, you know, I'm better for the experience. Um, you know, if the week, it was a great week. Um, you know, it was just unfortunate that, you know, Troll went down and we didn't get the result that we wanted, you know, seven minutes to go. So, uh, but, you know, I try to look at the positives. Um, you know, I've come back to the dogs. I feel like a more confident player and a better player. Has um has Freddie or any of the as Greg Alexander anyone had any contact with you at all since the game? No, I think um you know that's what I appreciate. You know they you know when I'm at Clubland, um, you know they try not to give me mixed messages uh, the players. So you know I've got great coaches here at the Dogs that um, you know that can coach me and then you know if I do play game two then um, you know I can get their advice and and how to play and take game two. But you know for now I'm at the Dogs and. Uh, taken on the Parramatta Eels on Monday. All right, just finally, I'll ask one more question just in, in regards to, uh, you know, it's it's ridiculous for me to say that you'd be scared to go to Brisbane and, and I'm playing that game. You, you'd be chomping the bit. You'd be really eager to get up there no matter what it is and how hard the task will be. you still got to believe in yourself and, and the job that the, that the um, Blues can get that job done. Yeah, I think, um, like I said, I've, you know, left camp. I'm a better player and a better person and I'm, and I'm just thankful and um, fortunate, you know, I got to get that week in. You know, a lot of players, you know, would love to play for their state. And I got the opportunity to do that for my family and for myself. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really grateful. And, yeah, if they pick me in for pick, uh, for game two, then, you know, I'll do my best to do the job. But, like I said, I'm just grateful that, you know, Freddie picked me for game one and I came back to Clubland, the better player. Awesome. Thanks, Tavita. Thanks heaps. And I'll be the first one with the mic in your face when you chose it again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers.